We'll, we'll call the regular meeting in the New Alm City Council for May 1st, 2018, 4.30 p.m. to order. First item on the agenda is your consent agenda items. What's your wishes? I'll offer a motion to approve those. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda items. Any discussion on any? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Item 2, consider a motion to approve the issuance of a lawful gambling permit for Cathedral of Holy Trinity to conduct a bingo, raffle, and pull tab gambling at Cathedral of Holy Trinity. And that is for June 24, 2018. I'll offer the motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carries. Item 2B. Consider a motion to approve the issue of a temporary on sale 3.2 percent malt liquor license for Cathedral of Holy Trinity, and that's for also June 24, 2018. I'll offer that motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Item 2C. Consider a motion approving the issuance of a temporary on sale intoxicating liquor license for the Bavarian Blast. And that is for Thursday, July 19th, 2018 through Sunday, July 22nd, 2018. I'll offer the motion to approve. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Item. 3A, number one, consider a motion approving the application from Randy Alfreds for a variance to permit the construction of a garage with a height of 20 feet 9 inches on the property zoned R1 located at 1328 Settlers Trail. I would like to just add the Planning Commission honestly recommended approval at the April 26, 2018 meeting. We had no written or oral complaints from the neighbors surrounding it. I did go out to Mr. Alfred's and review it before he brought it before the Planning Commission and just took a first-hand look of it. And if you see in your packet there, you know, his main reasoning is, is he wants to follow the rough lines of his new house that he had constructed. And most garages are built with a 412 pitch and he just wants to go to an 812 roof pitch and tie into it architecturally. So that was his concerns. There is nothing to obstruct for other views from neighbors or anything where the home is. So that's why the commission recommended approval. With future building, was there any future concerns with other, the lots around that area? <coughs> there is a lot next to it. Okay. And it's, it was the previous uh, golden home and uh, lot out there. It's undeveloped currently. And, uh, so if they build property there, will they have to build to that same pitch? That's my only. That's my only. I concern. guess that would be a question probably for Elwood. I would ask if, if but I mean, I don't know if they would have to build that same pitch, or, or if they're going to build that close to the lot. There's, I don't know the lot uh, width of the neighboring lot, but Randy's lot is kind of irregular and it's kind of a long, narrow lot. If I would best. Yeah, that's correct. It, it is a long, narrow lot. The house is set back towards the back end of the lot. Um, the neighbors wouldn't have to match it. But will that construct their view if they were to have the normal pitch on the on their house? No, I wouldn't think so. I mean, it's far enough apart where. Yeah, it well, it all depends on how those whatever happens out there. Right now, it's one big lot. The old Golden property is one big lot right now. So whatever the future brings, if they goes on their windows and yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to say when it's undeveloped at this point yeah. in time. Mm -hmm. You know, it is, All right. I think, for sale, but, you know. All right, thank you. It looks like that there's been similar um, considerations in the past, in 2001 and in 2005. So I think with that, <coughs> um, I'll make the motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. <coughs> Item 3A, number 2, consider a resolution approving with conditions an application from Dolly Beergarden and Robert Van Zyl requesting a conditional use permit to allow a tattoo 
business to be located on the property <coughs> zone B3 at 307 North Minnesota Street. Again, I, uh, the Planning Commission recommended approval at the uh, meeting on April 26 here, 2018, and we had no written or oral complaints from the community in regards to this. Um, she has conditions that she has to follow with uh, state guidelines and pay, their, pay her fees to the county is another one of her con conditions and she understands that and the standards that she has to maintain as a business. Thank you. Any more discussion? With that just bringing to mind six eight years ago I remember the planning director and I we had a contact or somebody was wishing to put one downtown they never did come back at that time we discussed the issues I don't see an issue with it offer the resolution waive the reading to permit approving with conditions the application of Dolly Burgard and Robert Van Zyl requesting a conditional use permit to allow the location of a tattoo business on the property zone B3 general <laughs> purpose district at 307 North Minnesota second we have a motion and a second off the resolution waived reading any more discussion I do have a, a question because I know this does come up periodically and <coughs> with people getting charged with tattooing underage folks so I just had a, these are the owners here can I ask a question um, just to make sure that we're not going to have that issue are you going to have some type of signs or what do you have IDs or what's your requirements going to be for that I issue um, every time somebody enters a tattoo shop and is looking to get body artwork they have to sign a waiver Okay. And they have to include a valid photo ID with so that waiver. And so we can get tattooed even with parents' permission if they're under 18. Correct? Not in the state of Minnesota, correct. So that's what I thought that was. Our yep, okay. they have to be 18 and older, again, with a valid photo ID. Okay. And we will also keep records of that at our facility or establishment as well. Great. So as long as you're up here, you want to tell us about what else you're going to do there? Um, yeah, so Big I... Big <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry. So I, you know, wanted to try and get the first tattoo shop here open in, in New Alm. This is my home, so okay. I'd like to stay here. And um, I'm kind of thinking about doing some removal services in the future. I kind of see both sides of the tattoo industry. I think that, you know, people love them, but there's also some people that might not want them anymore, that they've gotten them in the past. And I think we can help and provide services, you know, with the community and anybody that wants to come in and have questions. I'm very educated in this industry. I did a lot of extensive research during college and um, I'm really good at opening and answering questions. So if Wonderful. anyone, has, if any of anything else. We wish you good luck. Thank you guys. Does the mayor get like a furry, free tattoo or <laughs> anything like that? No? <laughs> <laughs> Herman the German or New Alm or anything? I mean, I just check it. No, he can't do that. I'm just asking. <laughs> He'll have to come during opening day. I have some good things planned. Okay. <laughs> we'll bring him. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good luck, luck to you. <laughs> okay. We have a motion and a second. Off resolution. Wave reading. Any more discussion? Seeing none. Finance Director, Assistant Finance Director, please call the roll. All right, Councillor Fisher? Yes. Councillor Mack? Yes. Councillor Schultz? Yes. <coughs> Councillor Christian? Yes. President Schmitz? Yes, motion carries. Good luck. Thank Item. You guys. Thank you very much. Okay. Item 4A Consider a resolution to accept monetary donations from Schwartz Farms Incorporated. That's an amount of $175. I'll offer the motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Resolution. 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 Sister Finance Director. Okay. Please call the roll. Yes. Councillor Mack? Yes. Councillor Schultz? Yes. Councillor Christian? Yes. President Schmidt? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, let's see. All right. Item 4B, consider resolution accepting donations and memorials to the New Orleans Public Library. I'll offer the resolution, waive the reading. Second. We got a motion to second off resolution, waive the reading. Any more discussion? Seeing none. Finance Director, please call the roll. Councillor Fisher? Yes. Councillor Mack? Yes. Councillor Schultz? Yes. Councillor Christian? Yes. President Schmitz? Yes, motion carries. Item 4C, consider a motion approving the plans <coughs> and specification and authorize the city manager to sign a contract document with Spartan Energy Response to purchase a new pump fire truck through the 
HGAC by contract for $551,801. Paul, want to explain that? Sure. <laughs> <coughs> President Schmitz, counselors, uh, back in January, um, you gave approval um, for staff to begin specifications on replacement of a 1989 Forstner uh, fire pumper. Uh, since then, uh, staff, um, whether the committee, met with four different truck manufacturers. Um, we met uh, uh, throughout February and March, uh, narrowed it down uh, the beginning of April to two manufacturers. And what you have in front of you is the de decision that the committee made um, with Spartan. Uh, we feel that's the best fit for the New Ulm Fire Department. And um, it's right in line with uh, what we have set aside for a uh, fire truck. Um, you see that HGAC, that's a buying co-op out of uh, Texas. And these trucks are pre-bid, uh, or <coughs> about 75 to 80% of the truck is pre-bid. So these, these prices are set and they can't change them. So what happens if, if we <coughs> decide we send down a, a purchase order, uh, it goes with a list of items and then uh, somebody at HGAC goes through that item by item to make sure we're getting charged exactly what they had bid, it, bid that uh, at. So if you notice, um, the price <coughs> includes the fee for the HGAC. Um, even though we are a member, when you purchase a vehicle through them, there's a $2,000 fee for uh, going through that contract like that. Um, this also comes with a performance bond that uh, the truck is built exactly the way we want it, and it'll be done in 395 days. Mr. President? Could, yes. Uh, Chief, is this the same company we went through when we acquired the uh, ladder truck? Correct, yes. That's what I thought, yeah, because I had researched that, and that's compliant with all state laws to use that <coughs> buying source, so. And you've been real happy with them? What? Yeah, this, yeah. If, if, if we purchase this Spartan, this will be our third Spartan oh, truck okay. already. We've been real happy with them so far. Okay. Just one question for the Chief. Paul, what's the next one we have for replacement? Do you know offhand? Well, the next would be probably be the rescue truck. Okay. And what, how many years is that out? Uh, I think we're looking at uh, 22 or 23, somewhere in there. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Anybody else have any questions for him? With that information, I'll motion to approve plans and specification, authorize the city manager to sign a contract document with Spartan Emergency Response to purchase a new pumper fire truck through the HGAC by contract <coughs> for $551,801. A second. We have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Seeing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion carries. Item 4D, consider resolution approving the development agreement with the Prairie Land Development LLP for the property to be plotted at Fair Hills 6th edition located at 1314 <coughs> to 1422 Maplewood Drive. Anybody have anything on that? Uh, I see it's uh, for me to present this. I thought Mr. Schnobrick was working I his way to the microphone, but he's he hiding. He's stuck out. He's took a right it. turn. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was walking up, too. <laughs> he went to get a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there have been a lot of negotiations and discussions with uh, the developer, um, Prairie Land Development, to put together the terms of uh, the agreement. Um, I think that the approval of their plat was conditioned upon them entering into an acceptable development agreement with the city. Um, after working pretty extensively with Dave Schnobrick on this, the document that's been presented to you in the agenda represents what we think is appropriate for this. Uh, my understanding is the developer has agreed to the terms. Um, so for them to be able to move forward, we would ask that you um, agree that the city can be authorized to enter into this and I don't believe there is anything any different than any other 
development agreements that we've had. Yeah, it's pretty consistent. Again, it's um, because some of the lots are somewhat unique. Um, it's been tailored to this development, but otherwise, um, it's it's pretty generally the same terms that we've had in all the others we've entered into. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. <coughs> Any more discussions? Seeing none. Entertain a motion. A resolution. I'll offer the resolution, waive the reading, approving a development agreement with Prairie Land Development, LLP, for the property to be plotted as Fair Hill 6th Edition, located at 1314-1422 Maplewood Drive. Second. We have a motion and a second to offer the resolution, waive the reading. Any more discussion? Seeing none, Assistant Finance Director, please call the roll. Councillor Fisher? Yes. Councillor Mack? Yes. Councillor Schultz? Yes. Councilor Christian? Yes. And President Schmidt? Yes. Motion carries. Item 5A, consider acceptance of a list of claims paid and approve a list of claims to be paid. Claims paid in amount of $831,515.42 and a claims to be paid in amount of $250.06. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. With no more business being concluded, meeting adjourned.